Right now, uh, we're going to turn to breaking news on Long Island, where late this afternoon, a jury convicted a woman for the murder in the death of her fiancé's eight-year-old son. The special needs child died of hypothermia after being locked in the family garage on a 19-degree day in January three years ago. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan joining us live from outside the courthouse in Riverhead. Jennifer? Dana, there were gasps and sighs inside that courtroom behind me, blowing noses, tears shed. Angela Polina was convicted this afternoon of 3.30 this afternoon of killing eight-year-old Thomas Valva by exiling him to an unheated garage on a 19-degree night. Polina failed to help the autistic boy as he froze to death in what prosecutors call a final cruel act, saying she tortured and starved Thomas and his brother. We spoke just a short time ago to jurors and the defense counsel. I'm very upset, you know, so, um, and obviously she's devastated, so. I certainly had heightened emotions, and, um, you know, I think you also have to be able to put those emotions to the side, right, and judge it strictly on the facts of the case, the evidence presented, and I think we did a great job doing that. It couldn't have been just the hosing down in the backyard alone. It was also the basement, the, the garage floor, which the defendant was involved with putting, making the child sleep there. But Thomas doesn't bring him back, doesn't change anything. Doesn't change the, all those other kids saw what he went through, and they're all going to need a lot of help. Polina faces 25 years to life, the very same sentence her former fiance and NYPD officer Michael Valva is now serving at an upstate prison. Thomas's biological mother, Justina Zubko, is suing the county. She was not here for the deliberations or trial. Reporting live from Riverhead, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Dana, back to you. Jennifer, thank you.